I became ill when my son was about three months old. I began to have intrusive thoughts. And the more I wanted them to go away, the more they'd get bigger and bigger and bigger and, and more frightening. I'd have a thought that would pop into my head about having an act of violence on him. The most frightening was in the middle of the night, hearing him cry and then having a trigger of, I was gonna go in there and, and, and strangle him. That thought would make me so anxious that I got up in the middle of the night and left and was walking around Bristol kind of thinking, what am I gonna do? I took myself into hospital feeling very overwhelmed and they actually explained to me that I was having what I now know is intrusive thoughts and I have been now diagnosed with OCD. I remember going into hospital as if thinking, I don't mind being locked away, I don't mind being sectioned, I just wanna make sure my son's safe, that was the priority. Being anxious really affects your relationship with your child because you feel unable to carry out the day-to-day -day tasks without these nagging thoughts in your head. Um, so it can be very difficult to just even change their nappy or put them to bed. It really does put a strain on, on your relationship with your partner as well because at the time they most need you, you're the most unavailable. The most important help that I got was somebody just going, you know what, I get it. I was actually supported by a dad's worker who just really empathized with me and understood. What was really important in my recovery was understanding the illness and the right talking therapy, so cognitive behavior therapy um, can help you manage the thoughts that you're feeling to make them less powerful. When I recovered, a job opportunity came up at Bluebell Care for a dad's support worker I did an interview and eventually got the job. We came up with a, a new brand, which is Dads in Mind, and we did a focus group with dads, and we've moved those forward into now offering one-to-one -one support. Looking back, I kind of realized that I, that I did have difficulties throughout my life, and being diagnosed has made me realize that, you know, it's okay not to be okay, and to accept that I've got an illness and, and learn to manage it rather than fight it.